Consequences of fluid overload in the gut. Approximately 7,000 milliliters of fluid is secreted into the gastrointestinal or GI tract each day. However, only about 50 to 200 milliliters of this fluid actually leaves the body in stool. The remainder is reabsorbed in the small and large intestines. When patients are fluid overloaded, this balance is disturbed, leading to fluid accumulation in the interstitium. Ultimately, this accumulation leads to gut edema. Some of the causes of fluid accumulation in the gut include alterations in microvascular and tissue hydrostatic pressure, increased capillary permeability by ischemia reperfusion injury, and the loss of the endothelial glycocalyx. The major functional consequences of gut edema are increased mucosal permeability and decreased epithelial resistance. Fluid-filled loops of bowel. Ileus or delay in intestinal transit. Lack of peristalsis, which decreases lymphatic flow. And malabsorption of ingested nutrients. From a clinical perspective, gut edema is associated with the development of bacterial translocation in the colon, abdominal distension and hypertension, which can ultimately affect renal function and urine output, decreased respiratory compliance or lung function, resulting from the abdominal distension, as well as the development of multiple organ dysfunction syndrome.